So here I want to show you a video that walks you through doing puppy bonding exercises. So this is Maple. She's one of our moms here at Timberidge Golden Doodles. So start by sitting your puppy down between your legs, um, kneeling on the ground, and start feeling your puppy on her head. Just tell her head, head, the whole time. That way your puppy associates that word with what you're doing. Then you can move on to her ears, telling her ears, ears, check in her ears, see if um, there's any abnormalities, any bad smells, any hairs that need to be picked. Um, do both of her ears. Just take a look in both of them and smell both of them. Then you can move on to her eyes. Tell her eyes, eyes, and feel around her eyes. Take any crusties out of her eyes. Move on to her mouth and tell her mouth, mouth, or teeth, teeth, and check her teeth. Just make sure everything looks normal. Feel her up and down her neck and her chest and move on to her front legs. And then put your puppy in and down. If your puppy nose down like maple, then you can tell her, and if not, um, then you can go ahead and put your puppy into a down gently. Um, feel her front legs and her paws, check in her feet and her toenails, feel her belly. Um, look for burrs or for mats or for cuts, just anything that could be abnormal with your puppy. Feel her all over, feel those back legs too, and then you can gently roll your puppy over to her other side so that way you can check that other side for um, any abnormalities as well. Feel both of her back feet and check her tail, pulling her tail gently. Just that way, again, she's used to it if a child will come up and uh, mess with her tail. And then when you are all finished, you can tell your puppy okay, give her a release. Um, that way she knows she's done and has done a great job. Once your puppy gets used to bonding exercises and relaxes with them, then it's a good time to start introducing different grooming equipment that your puppy will be experiencing throughout her whole life. So as you're looking at her feet and checking her toenails, you notice her toenails are long, and that's a good time to go ahead and trim her toenails. For mini golden doodles, the just human toenail clippers will work great for trimming her nails. Um, for bigger golden doodles, you can pick up a pair of uh, dog nail clippers from your pet store. Or also, Dremel works great for sanding the nails, and we use a Dremel a lot at our house. Um, as you're feeling your puppy, that's a good time to introduce a slicker brush. Just brush her a little bit here and there. You don't have to brush the whole dog, but just a gentle introduction. If you notice any burrs in her hair, then you can use your slicker to help get those burrs out. If there's a clump of burrs or you notice a mat, then that's a great time to have your scissors on hand so you can trim those out. Just make sure that you're not using pointy scissors like these if you're doing any trimming around her eyes. Make sure you pick up a pair of blunt tip scissors for trimming faces. Another grooming tool that's good to have on hand, um, not during the bonding exercise, but just in general, is a pair of clippers. And those are great to help extend the time between your grooming appointments. So you can trim your dog's bottom and give them a sanitary clip, or also trim um, just the hair right under their ears to help with airflow to prevent from getting an ear infection. And human, um, human clippers aren't made to withstand just the thickness of the hair that dogs have and you'll burn through a motor really quickly so it's worth the investment to get a pair of clippers that are designed specifically for dogs.